you know, it's getting much easier to predict what the hell is coming down the pipeline. It really is. Friday, I told y'all that by Monday we would have a massive stock market crash. I know it's disgusting. I did it to y'all on purpose. Wake up. Pay attention. It's getting easy to predict what the hell is coming down the pipeline. When you look around you, you can see it all lining up. And it still ain't going to work. I'm telling you, show enough is my name is James Franklin Williams. Franklin Williams, the Stankonian ambassador, Dark Waters. None of this is going to stop the American people. But, but I will say this. It's going to give you one hell of a run for your money. Let us start with Don Don. I'm going to start with Don Don because Don Don Ben told you guys this when these people got in office that this would happen. So let me see what Don Don had to say about it. Believe Donald, it or not. Don, what did you tell them? And you know what? I'm not so far away from that again, believe it or not. But if Biden gets in, the market will crash. Okay, so Don said if Biden gets in, the market will crash. This is what Biden said. And I, I, let's just talk about what has happened. This is what the market looks like when the Democratic Party runs it. Now, remember, they said that Biden knew what he was doing. They said all this crazy stuff. It was going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. And oh, <laughs> that's what happened. Today, the meltdown in global markets from Japan to India and the United States, all major markets were in the red today. Investors worldwide have lost billions, including those in India. Going by one claim, 17 lakh crores were wiped off from the Indian markets today. That's more than $20 billion gone in a day. It was a bloodbath. For months, Indian markets have been on a high. Investors have witnessed a record-breaking bull run. The Nifty alone hit record highs more than 45 times this year. The Nifty is an index of India's top 50 companies. Its boom was thanks to big bets by investors. They were sold on India's growth story. So have they lost confidence now? What caused the sell-off today? Well, broadly, there are three reasons. Number one, recession fears in the US. They've returned. We told you about this last week, about how rising unemployment claims and a slowdown in the manufacturing sector have raised fears of an American recession. The U.S. has released its latest unemployment data, and here's what it says. 4.3% of all Americans are unemployed. This is close to a three-year high. In April last year, unemployment was a little more than 3%. So the U.S. is witnessing an increase in joblessness. And this is... Dark Waters will tell you why. I'm going to explain to you why all this chaos is ensuing. While all the drama is going on all over the world, the reason is you don't have a president running the United States of America. Well, what do you mean, Dark Waters? We don't have no president. Well, I mean, let's think about it. I mean, let's really, really think about it for a second. So, Joe Biden clearly is not mentally capable of running a nation. We've seen that. Kamala Harris is running around trying to run for presidency and she's clearly not that smart and that intelligent because the mistakes that she's making like today she went out to buy she went to a black record store to buy records vinyl lps and then show them to everybody that she bought vinyl records now you may be saying to yourself dw that don't make no sense it makes all the sense in the world as a political stunt you can't like show somebody on your phone that well you know i listen to jay-z you couldn't just do that right well you couldn't say oh i listen to beyonce you couldn't you couldn't just do that you had to have a photo op you had to go get the album take them out of the piece of paper and show everybody yeah i bought sade the world is going to hell in a handbasket nine trillion dollars have been lost in the stock market because they wanted it to happen. They wanted it to happen. They're throwing everything they have at the people of the world. I mean, they're throwing everything they have at the global citizens of this world. And when I say they, I mean the World Economic Forum. People like the Illuminati. No. They're not hidden anymore. They're right in front of your damn face. They're not hiding. Everybody's like, ooh, the Illuminati do their rituals. No, they sit right in front of your face and tell you what they're going to do to you. Now, they may go do their rituals in secret, but they sit right in front of your damn face. 
some would call history in the making. Scary. Been, Don't say that. We have never been down a thousand points ever, not even intraday on the Nasdaq. Is that true? That is true. Okay. Yes, that's absolutely uh, down six percent right from the get go. This is heavy, heavy set. big tech. Here we go. Look at them go down. Microsoft is down twenty bucks. That's five percent. Alphabet. 5%, Meta, 6%, Amazon, 6%, Apple, 9% now. Let's pull out Apple. Uh, this is interesting. What Everything is being thrown at the American people. 100, 1,000 point drop. If you remember my video Friday, I told you when there was a 500 point drop in a market, it was called Black Friday. Watch this. I'm telling you, here it is right here. 1987 Black Monday stock market crash on October 19th, 1987. Worldwide losses estimated at 1.71 trillion. Chicago Federal Reserve report a chain reaction of market distress sent global stock exchanges plummeting in a matter of hours. And this is 1.7 trillion. And they lost their mind over 1.7 trillion. Now we're dealing with 9 <laughs> Oh my goodness. 1.93 trillion. The equivalent of another Black Monday. And the reason why it's happening is because the globalists need to hit you with everything that they can. Everything. Thank the Lord that they haven't got all their control mechanisms in place. Thank the Lord that people have stood up a little bit. I mean, because if they could have pushed all their control mechanisms in place during the pandemic, we would be screwed right now. We'd be absolutely screwed. But they need to crash everything so they can build their new system and you can be on your CDBCs. You DW, what you talking about? What's a CDBC? CDBC, what is that? CDBC. The World Bank president, former president Nicholas Stern says we have to look at timetables for ending this. So the World Bank's telling automakers the mm. car's ending. A bank in Australia won't mm. even give you a car loan if you want to buy a gas-powered car. We didn't vote for this. Mm. They're taking away our meat, our gas-powered cars, our free speech, and our uh, agriculture forcing us to eat insects. We didn't vote for any of it. We didn't vote for lockdowns. We didn't vote for mask mandates. These were all done through emergency decree, through unelected bureaucracy. That is what the Great Reset is. Think back to China one-party rule. They don't want any stinking democracy anymore. Well, you meant the world. I like that guy. I Here we go. Let's go to their boss. Let's go to his boss. And the one final note I will uh, make is that if you think about the benefits of digital money, there are huge potential gains. It's not just about uh, digital forms of physical currency. You can have programmability, you know, um, units of central bank currency with expiry dates. You could have, as I argue in my book, a potentially better and uh, some people might see it or a darker world where the government decides that units of central bank money can be used to purchase some things, but not other things that it deems less desirable like say ammunition or drugs or pornography or something of the sort and that is very powerful in terms of the use of a cbdc and the one final note i will uh, make I is that if I you think you stop it i want you to hear what he's saying because that accent makes it real hard for you to understand I, the one the final note i want you to see that the, the, that makes it real hard for you to really grasp what the man is saying it makes it real hard no did it for you to grasp what the man is saying so we're going to slow it down a little bit because you got to be able to hear what he's saying. We're going to slow the playback speed down a little bit. I want you to hear what he's saying they're going to do to you with the C, D, B, C. Here it is. Watch. Don't believe me. Just watch. And the one final note I will uh, make is that if you think about the benefits of digital money, there are huge potential gains. It's not just about uh, digital forms of physical currency. You can have programmability, you know, um, units of central bank currency with expiry dates. You could have, as I argue in my book, a potential. Let me stop right there. Units of C. D B C with expiry dates. What does that mean, DW? That means if you get paid in a C D B C, your money could expire. Therefore, you can't save money because it expires. 
I'm pretty sure in my Bible back there I got a dollar somewhere. Uh, hold on, let me see. I, I'm pretty sure. So, what they're saying to you is, what they're saying to you is this. See this? This could sit in that Bible for the next 100 years. And if it has bought, if the dollar still has value, my son and grandson could pick this up and spend it. And be like, my grandpa left me a $1 bill. And it's got a serial number on it that makes it worth $50. Right now, it's worth 50. Right? Well, according to their plan, you, you won't have this no more. So when you get your paycheck, you got 48 hours to spend your paycheck or your money expire. Yes, sir. It's a whole nother level of control that they want institute on you. A whole nother level of control. Just getting on top of your neck like this. And strangle you. Strangle you. Strangle you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all can keep playing around if you want to. Actually, better than yeah, some people might see there a darker world where the government decides that units of central bank money can be used to purchase some things, but not other things that it deems less desirable. Strangle you, see? Strangle you. Where the government can decide that units, units of central bank currency can be spent on some things and not other things that are considered to be less desirable. And he just says it with this crooked lizard damn smile on his face. Look at him. Look at him. Make sure this on the middle of the screen so you can see. look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He looked like somebody that 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 drag you into a dungeon and chain you to a wall and beat the bricks off of you. Look at him. Look at his eyes. Let me make it big. Look in them eyes. Y'all got to start looking people in the eyes. Damn it. I don't think that's going to show you his damn eyes. Hold on. You going to see these eyes. You going to see these. There it is. Look at them damn eyes. Look at them cold, dead shark eyes. Look at them. I want you to look into him. I'm looking into him right now. I want you to look at him. Yeah. That's your enemy right there. Mm-hmm. I can see it in his eyes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That's him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, dog. Yeah. That's him. That's the one that's that's the ones that want you right there. That's the ones that want you. They want violence. <sighs> calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Like say ammunition or drugs or pornography. I mean, let, me, let me let you hear the rest of it. Terrible. Like you said it deems less sites that units of central bank money can be used to purchase some things but not other things that it deems less desirable like say ammunition or drugs or pornography ammunition or drugs or pornography ammunition or drugs or pornography why, why did he pick ammunition first or something of the sort and that is very powerful in terms of the use of a cbdc do y'all get what these people is doing to you? Do you get it? I mean, for real, do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? This is no longer any good. If they get their way. This you have the ability to put to the side and go like mine was right there in the Bible. It, yours can go and hide in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Put it back where it came from. And hide in the Bible. And I can hold on to it. Oh, no, they don't want you doing that. No, sir. You can't do that. We won't control everything about you. All right, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Peace out.